Uh, hello everybody, uh, this is Emerson again for, I believe this is Audio Weaver session, I don't know, three or four, four. Um, so again, thank you for listening. Uh, today we're going to talk about our filters again. So um, uh, for this uh, presentation, I'm still connected to the Tendles, uh DSP crossover uh, running on a shark at running at 192 kilohertz for sampling rate. So uh, what I want to talk about is in Audio Weaver, there's, there's second order filters. And um, if we just search for that second, I think it's SOF. There you go. So if you notice here, there's a second order filter and a second order precise. So what I wanted to um, show in this session is what's the difference between the two of them. And um, so this set, this first one, the second order filter, it's sort of your generic IIR implementation. Everybody else can do it. Um, sort of like a textbook um, implementation of the IIR filter. But this second order uh, filter precise, it, you can see there already there's a highlighted thing. It says second order filter with high precision implementation. So um, it's something special with it, with with Audio Weaver. So there's a there's a different implementation to it. Uh, unfortunately, um, Danville is not at the liberty of uh, sharing what's in it under NDA with uh, DSP concepts. But in this video, we want to compare it. I also want to mention that what I'm going to draw in this canvas. It's not original. I, I learned this uh, from a presentation we had with Dr. Paul Beckman of DSP Concepts. And so uh, it's sort of like a repeat. So let's see if I can draw it. I, I, I know I'm not going to give justice. <laughs> Paul, Dr. Paul explains it better. But uh, so, okay, here we go. First of all, we have the inputs and outputs. Okay. We are going to not use the input temporarily. Um, uh, so I'm just going to sync that. And then we're going to do a uh, sine wave. Okay. And I want to run it to simulate our favorite hum, the hum of 60 hertz. How's that? And then I want... Um, second order filter i am gonna drag a second order filter here and a second order precise over here okay i am gonna feed the 60 hertz to both of them and then what i want to do is i want to implement a notch basically i want the 60 hertz to be gone or as much as we can help it. So I'm gonna do that 60 Hertz over here. I'm gonna then run the notch also on the second order precise over there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we're gonna use a multiplexer because we wanna select one of the, one of the other. Uh, so, okay. Yes, I'm going to need a mute module where I am going to go. I'm going to disable the module variables because it's too much information. Okay, and then the last thing I believe is uh, I want to have a filter. A Butterworth filter. It'll take a basic one. And I want to have a high pass at I don't know, 200 hertz. So, in theory, and it's always in theory, here we're trying things out <laughs> in practice. And oh, let's make a, let's drag a meter. So what we want to do here, this is 60 hertz. The idea is 
if it passes through a notch, sorry, and this one's is another uh, is another notch with the same parameters. And what we want to do here is track what's happening. Uh, we're going to select either this one, this path, so 60 hertz notch, this path, or this path. And we're, we want to hear what's the difference or measure something visually if there's a difference. Okay. Um, I have a, I actually connected an external speaker just to see whether we hear something or not. Okay. So, and we're high passing at this point. So whatever got notched over here, we expect nothing else coming out. And it makes sense. We can, we'll wiggle this later too, uh, if need be. But let's start with that. So my meter's ready. And so I guess we're ready to, we're ready to push audio. Here we go. I'm gonna run it. So we, we see here that through this path, this index right here controls, uh, we're, we're selecting this audio path, the one on the top and the bottom is when I check it. So if I check this guy, we see there's a big difference between what this thing does versus this module. So I guess the curious part, what happens if I, what happens if I nudge the high pass some more? Okay, so if I uh, change the high pass corner here using this second order high, uh, second order filter precise implementation, I don't hear anything. But if I go back to that guy, there's something leaking or happening over there. Okay. Are we ready to listen to it? Here we go. Oh, look at that. So this is what is happening. So <laughs> six years going through that second order filter, which is a notch. And we filtered, we high pass filter, whatever's coming out of here at that corner. But if we use the same second order filter with the precision, high precision uh, implementation, I'm going to check this one. Oh, so we can see there's a big difference between the two. So again, here comes the annoying noise. What happens if I change this some more? And then I select the high precision one. Okay. So what we just demonstrated here is that they're both second order filters, but I believe our um, our recommendation is part of the reason why in some cases the high precision is a better option specifically when you're entering into the realm of um, where things can be unstable specifically if you're trying to be near the edges of the unit circle or so how I mean, uh, Al explains this better, but think about it. If we're uh, trying to do something on a very low frequency and our sampling rate is on uh, 192K, um, that's way different when you're trying to filter around in voice range, like 1000 Hertz or something. So you're really uh, pushing the, 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 uh, the 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 computa computation engine at this point or the algorithm whatever needs to be so the high precision filter offers something that's that the, the standard sof that you can find everybody everywhere else that uh so this precision filter implementation offers something against the standard one and and you know the the evidence is the what you hear so um i guess that's i guess it's all the the sound says it all so i guess that's the end of our session today and if you do have questions and if you want to reach us uh kindly go to our website uh danvillesignal.com and there is a there's there is a link there um called talk to us 
if you want to reach us and call us. So thank you again for listening.